Hello friends and welcome to my first reading vlog. I say first reading vlog but I actually tried filming one a couple weeks ago. It didn't turn out very well. Um, I didn't end up reading like anything that week so <laughs> there was nothing to show and the clips were like all garbage anyway. So um, I'm trying it again today or this week rather. Um, so I just want to go over like what books I have kind of on the go right now. I'm currently reading Jade City by Fonda Lee um, on my ebook. I'm about 23% in. Uh, so far, really enjoying this. It's really fast paced. It's really, it's, it's everything I love about books. So really, really enjoying this. Um, I'm also listening to um, two audiobooks right now. I'm just over the halfway point on both. Um, and yeah, so Skin We're In by Desmond Cole and also... You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. Um, it's so cute. It's So far, I'm loving that one. Um, I think you all know I love a good teen romance. Um, but so far, recently, have been kind of disappointed by them. But this is like, this is what I needed. This is what I needed. Um, it's so wholesome, so cute. Um, and the audiobook's pretty good, actually. Um, I had originally wanted to wait to read this, either on ebook or physically, but... The audiobook was on script, so I couldn't help myself. Um, and then the last book I have going on right now is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. Um, I am buddy reading this with Sophia from Fantasy Book Addict. Um, but I'm pretty sure both of us are pretty bad at kind of getting this done. Um, <laughs> we started a while ago. We said originally said we would read like 50 pages a day, and that hasn't happened at all. Um, I am on page 159, chapter 10. Um, we've kind of just agreed that we're just going to try to finish it by July. <laughs> so I really need to get on with this and, and move on. Um, so far, I am enjoying this. It's starting to pick up. It was a little slow to start. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was a little info dumpy. I'm hoping to get a little further this week. Um, the only thing is, like, recently I've been really into reading on my ebook just because it's so convenient. It's so tiny. I have, like, a baby. I have a baby one. Um, and, yeah, so I have that. Um, anyway, so I am going to just um, go grocery shopping for the first time in, like, a month, maybe over a month. Um, so I am going to pop on my audiobook. I think I should be able to be done You Should See Me in a Crown by the time I like finish grocery shopping or like I should get really close and in which case I should be able to finish that today um, and I will update you guys when I get back. Hello friends just checking in. I stopped by like the Japanese living store. It's kind of like our version of Daiso I guess. Um, I had to pick up some I wanted some matcha so picked some up but I also picked up some like my favorite Calbee snacks. Um, I have some like curry chips, hot and spicy chips, um, some like little instant noodle snackies. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd check in. Um, I am almost 70% through um, You Should See Me in a Crown now. Um, I love it. I just got to the, I guess like kind of like climax point of it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hop over to do my proper grocery shop now, not just the snacky foods. And I will hopefully um, not cry. That's the goal. Update. Excuse, excuse the look. Um, it's been a long morning, but. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I just finished um, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. It's so freaking cute so freaking cute um i don't want to give any spoilers because i know it's like still a new book and people are still getting around to reading it but um it's super cute um i highly recommend it if you're ever like in the mood for kind of like a teen romance like a contemporary ya kind of situation um very 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 cute um obviously the main highlight is their relationship as with any romance but i actually what i really really loved about this story in particular is I loved kind of the the friendships that she has the and her relationship with her brother the main character Liz her relationship with her brother is just so sweet um yeah it was very heartwarming very like wholesome very 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 cute I really really enjoyed it 
Um, I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads. Um, I don't think it's quite a five star read, but it is very, very good. Um, and yeah, there's one character, Gabby, who is one of Liz's best friends, but like, she's so triggering to me because I, she, so I don't think this is a spoiler, but Gabby is like the kind of friend who's just like really self absorbed. Uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but like, they're the kind of friend who has like the best intentions. Um, and when they are there for you, they are there for you 100%. Everything is 100% with them. But like, sometimes a lot of the times the world revolves around them and it's so exhausting and it just reminds me of like all the friends I have a lot of my close friends are like that I feel like li like Liz is such a character after my own heart you know she's like introverted she's like a super nerd she's an orchestra nerd which I'm like yeah and then like her friend her best friend is that type of friend that like these are the type of people that I tend to be also like really close with um and even though they're like really exhausting relationships sometimes like in the end they're worth it but yeah it was a little triggering like towards like kind of like the between like the 40 percent and like 75 80 percent mark of the book every time she appeared I was like make her stop <laughs> and I was really frustrated for Liz but yeah that was a really really cute book um yeah if you haven't picked it up yet um, highly recommended. The audiobook was really good. The narrator was really, really good. Um, I think for the rest of the day, today, I'm gonna like try to get some work done. Um, uh, but probably not, to be honest. Um, and then maybe I think I'm gonna read Jade City for the rest of today, maybe. I'll probably check back in tonight, maybe. Um, whenever I start reading again. Um, I'm definitely gonna take a little bit, bit of a break. I might watch some, some anime. I just started. Okay, I just started Attack on Titan. And usually I watch like fun animes, like lighthearted animes, because I already read dark ass fantasy books. But like, I don't know why I started Attack on Titan, because it's depressing as shit, but it's so good. Um, I can't believe I've never watched it. I've actually, I've watched the live action because the main character is played by one of my favorite actors. I think he's like just so good looking <laughs> and he's like 100% my type so I've totally watched the movie because of him or both movies actually there's two Attack on Titan movies maybe I don't know but I've watched two um I don't know how closely related to the anime they are from what I have seen so far not closely related at all like already episode one I was like oh so that doesn't happen <laughs> confused um so yeah so I might watch a bit of that today instead of reading I don't know I'll check back in later all right just sorted some stuff out um did some stuff like work related stuff um and I'm now gonna make a cup of tea and read um I know I said I was gonna read Jade City oh my god <laughs> my apartment is a disaster I'm so sorry <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I know I said I was going to read Jade City, but I think I am feeling, um, something a little more depressing, you know? So I am going to read, I think I'm going to read Obelisk Gate and see how far I get, um, before I have to make dinner. Hello friends, this is a great look for me. It's around, <laughs> it's around midnight now. Um, just gonna be doing a little bit of reading before bed. Um, I don't think I've ever worn these glasses on camera. I've got my mouth guard in, which is like such a good look. So excuse the bit of a lisp <laughs> from the mouth guard, but um, I am going to be continuing on with the obelisk gate. Honestly, I haven't read much since I last checked in of this um I was at I read like six pages which is bad um but I just couldn't concentrate I did start the audiobook for um The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta um I think I saw who did I see reading it I think Allison from Antari Read she was like raving about it on Twitter um I have never read a book in verse before. Um, poetry is not typically my thing. I kind of kind of hated it when I was in school. But I feel like books written in verse are like all the rage right now. So 
wanted to give it a try and I thought what better book than this one because Dean Atta narrates the audiobook and he is um from what I know he is like a performer as well so um so far really enjoying it I'm about almost 40% in I'd say I'm so far really loving it um yeah, the character is like exploring his sexuality, exploring his identity. Um, and I really love it. I, I, I've been really enjoying it. It's really sweet so far. Um, I've heard it gets a little bit more hard hitting later on, but so far it is sweet. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be doing a bit of reading and I will do one final check in before I fall asleep. <laughs> Okay, so last check-in of the night. It's about 1 a.m. I'm super tired. Um, and I am now at page 182, which means today I've read about 20-something-odd pages, which is fine. Um, it's not amazing, but um, I'm slowly getting through the book. Um, I will say it's definitely slower than the first book. I don't know if I'm loving it quite as much in terms of like the pacing and um, yeah, definitely a little bit of middle book syndrome so far. Um, the stuff is happening. It just feels a little like, how, how do I explain it? I think, yeah, it's like a typical second book syndrome kind of thing. It's like everything's kind of, you can tell that it's building up to something. You just don't know what yet. I mentioned this in my uh, review of the first book, but there's definitely more like environmental themes in here, um, more kind of commentary about environmentalism. Um, and I'm actually really excited. I've been reading a lot um, article-wise, nothing, no books or anything yet, but um, I've been reading a lot of articles about um, racial environmentalism. And I really hope it comes into play here um, at some point. Um, so far, it hasn't quite come into play yet, but I do hope, I do hope it does eventually. Um, so yeah, that's my check-in for today, um, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, friends! It's Tuesday! Um, <laughs> I am made up today for once in my life because I'm going to be filming a couple videos today, I think, um, or trying to, um, my kitchen's a mess. So excuse that. Um, but before that, I am going to just like get some cooking on. I did groceries yesterday, as you know, um, for the first time in like a month. So I actually get to cook, which is, <laughs> which doesn't always happen. Um, so I think I'm going to make a batch of a big batch of like pulled chicken. And I also, I've never cooked with them before. Um, but I was craving plantain chips. So I decided to get some plantains. Um, I got two green ones for the plantain chips, but then out of curiosity, I also got a yellow one just to try. Um, cooking with it. Um, I got an air fryer for my birthday a couple months ago. Um, and so I am hoping that I will be able to get some pretty decent plantain chips out of this, but I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be prepping my chicken, um, popping on the slow cooker so that I can have it for lunch. Note to self, do not do your makeup before grating onions. It's not fun. Also, she just wanted to say hi. Um, but I did also want to give a quick update on what I've been, what I've read this morning. Um, I read a little bit of Jade, Jade City, not too much. Um, but yeah, so far really loving Jade City. It's more lighthearted than I typically go for. I say lighthearted, it's not even that like, the topic matters aren't lighthearted, but it's not like, it's not as heavy as the others. Um, and for me, it's just like, it bring, gives me like a little bit of nostalgia. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, and I will probably continue on with Jade City today for the most part. 
Um, but I will update you guys later. Someone's vacuuming outside, so I'm really sorry if it's loud, but I just wanted to update you on the pulled chicken because it's finished and it looks delicious. A quick little update. Um, I just posted my um, Shonen Jump review uh, video, and while I was scrolling through it, it got me really excited about manga. So I'm actually I'm probably going to be switching gears today and reading manga. So um, I will keep you posted on that. Hello friends. <laughs> so I realized I didn't update you guys for the rest of the day, but to be honest, it's not been a very good reading day. Um, yeah, I've only read like 12 chapters of Claymore. Um, and oh, shoot, you can see my giant pile of clothes there. Anyone else have a pile of clothes? Is it just me? Whatever. I've exposed myself. I'm a, I'm a mess. I live by myself. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've just like touched up my hair as well, um, with like actual blue this time. Cause I was trying to go for a teal the first time around, turned out green. So we'll see how it turns out in the morning. Um, but I have to wait for my hair to dry a little bit before I go to bed. So I am going to read and I'm going to be reading Jade City tonight. I think, um, I don't know if I'll check in at the end of the night or anything like that. I'll probably just check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, have not read like anything today. It's a little shocking. It's been it's been a busy day for me though. Um, I am now officially not unemployed. Well, not officially yet, but pretty much officially not unemployed, which is so exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm considering <laughs> treating myself to a few books. So even though I like tired drunk ordered myself three books last night um but yeah if i don't check in again um good night and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning good morning happy wednesday is it wednesday it's wednesday a little update on the hair <laughs> um it's a lot darker than i thought it would be um but i got rid of the hay looking i got rid of the hay looking part so that's fine Anyway, <laughs> um, reading update, to be honest, I don't have much for you. I read a tiny bit of, I read like one chapter of Jade City. Um, I am hoping to just kind of crack on and read more of that tonight or today. Um, I don't really have anything planned for today. Um, I have officially signed my contract for my new job. Woo! Um, <laughs> but because I have now found a job um I feel like a little less pressure to kind of just um you know constantly be job hunting and like and doing side projects and stuff so um yeah I think I'm gonna take the day and just like concentrate on reading and chilling and listening to music and just having a nice day hello kitty um yeah so I think I'm just gonna read today um see how far I get um I just realized there's like less than a week left in June and I need to start planning my July TBR and I cannot believe June is over. Like I, I literally, I feel like I literally just posted my June TBR. So the fact that I have to do my July TBR now is like, and the fact that I haven't read like anything that was on my June TBR. Yeah. I don't know if I should even like do a July TBR. I don't know. I do like, Kind of having something to reference though so maybe i will still do it um but yeah um there's a lot of books i want to read i have unfortunately purchased more books i kind of want a new e-reader the sale is over now the father's day sale but mine it's so cute and i love how small it is but um it is very old and it does glitch occasionally which can kind of get annoying um but I don't know, like for now it still works. So I think I'm going to keep it for now, but um, definitely on my radar to pick up a new one maybe in the next year or so, depending on how much I use it. The thing is I find it hard to justify because like I ha I do technically have my iPad so I can read eBooks on there as well. Um, and I do read eBooks on there. Like if I get them through Kindle, let me know what you guys think. Like, should I get, should I get any e-reader? I don't know. I will check in a bit later and tell you guys like where I'm at with Jade City. Um, yeah, I really want to at least try to get to like halfway today because I feel like I've been reading forever and I'm still at 25%. But yeah, we'll keep you posted. Hello. 
Good morning, friends. Um, this is like a really weird angle, but um, I realized I completely forgot to update you guys um, yesterday. Um, but I basically, I didn't get to the halfway point of Jade City. I got to about 40, 40-ish percent. Um, I'm going to start doing my makeup because I think I'm going to be filming today um, a few videos. Yeah, so far, love it. I'm like half blind so but yeah so far I'm loving it um I like teared up because there was this and it's not even like a sad scene but there was like a scene where um Lan who is the oldest brother tells Shay the, like the youngest sister that she can come home like anytime for dinner without calling ahead and I just like <sighs> If you're Chinese or I think other like some other Asian cultures are like this too, but if you're Chinese, you get this. That is like the Chinese way to say I love you to your family because, and I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, but aren't like all families who just aren't affectionate like that. Like yes and no. Um, in Chinese culture, it is like literally a legitimate thing because the words I love you in Chinese are not used um, in a, like in a family context. It's only used in romance in relation to romantic love so there's literally like no literal phrase for I love you for your family members so the way that people in Chinese cultures do express their love um, is by asking things like have you eaten or like you can come over for dinner anytime and it's it's just so sweet it's just, it was such a little like touch that I felt like was just a little, like a nice little, like extra little touch that um, Fonda Lee put in that I thought was really, really, really sweet. I feel like I can't talk while I'm curling my eyelashes just in case I like rip them off. That would not be good. Fun fact, when I was in high school, like I've mostly recovered, but when I was in high school, I used to have what is known as trichotillomania, trichotillomania. And it's where you like, when you get stressed or like, for whatever reason stress for me stress was the big um trigger but you start pulling out your hair like as a compulsive like reflex um and i used to have that and at one point i had like ripped out all my eyelashes um and hot tip to parents don't do what my mom did she meant well but like she would like make fun of me in front of family it was not fun not fun but yeah, anyway, so I get really I get really nervous when I curl my eyelashes and stuff because I'm like I remember the days of not having eyelashes. So, um, but yeah, um other than that, my plan today is just to continue on with Jade City. I really want to like cost Oh, sorry. I forgot to say also I listened to a little bit more of the audiobook for The Black Flamingo. Um, I am loving it so far. It is so it's just so good. Um, I wasn't too sure about how I would feel about a book written in verse because that's not really my thing, but um, yeah, so far really enjoying it. I'm about halfway through that I think now, so it's not long at all, so um, I should be able to finish that definitely before the week is over. Nonfiction has kind of taken a back seat this week to be honest. I woke up to, you know, more science fiction, fantasy male authors being exposed for sexual harassment, sexual abuse. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not um, at this point, unfortunately. Um, disappointed but not surprised seems to be a pretty common theme these days. They're like sort of even, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah. I, obviously, I saw the Paul Kruger stuff um, last week. Was it when it when it kind of um, came to head? Um, and I had originally planned on reading Steel Crow Saga in May, um, and never got around to it. And now I won't be. That's for sure. Thought about doing that like makeup and books tag. But then I realized there's just so many categories of makeup that I just don't use because I'm lazy. And then yet I will use like three different mascaras. 
So yeah, I decided that tag was not <laughs> for me. Um, haven't eaten breakfast yet. Um, I'm not much of a breakfast person anymore, to be honest. Like just because I'm, well, I'm, oh my God, yeah, I'm truly just exposing myself. Um, but yeah, I will check in a little bit later on kind of where things are at, where I get in Jade City. Um, yeah, things are finally starting to pick up in terms of plot. Like, I, so far I've loved it because of the character development and everything, but I do feel like the plot is finally picking up, which is always good. Yeah, so I will check back in later. Hello, friends. This is, um, like a 9 p.m. check-in. <laughs> I look like a mess, but, um, I've read nothing today. Um, I've, yeah, I've literally read nothing. I'm gonna be reading Jade City again, um, tonight, I think. Um, yeah, I feel a little slumpy this week. I don't know. Or like just this month, I, I feel like I've been a little bit slumpy. I did buy another three ebooks today though, because sales will be the death of me. This is the problem. I have so many books on my TBR and then as soon as I see them on sale, I like go and buy them. So I bought Binti because that was only on sale for like a dollar. And then that would just be a crime to not get it. Um, I picked up Dread Nation because um, that, has, that has been on my list as well. And then I picked up House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I have a purchasing problem. I was originally going to go to the bookstore to like treat myself um, for getting a new job. But then I was like, who am I kidding? I've been treating myself for the past like two months. So, <laughs> so I really can't. But um, maybe I'll order myself like a pizza or something. I don't know. Let me know how you think I should celebrate. Anyway, that was my little check-in just to say that I haven't read today. Um, but if I do read later on, I will uh, check in again tonight. So, yeah. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday, which is technically, I guess, the last day of this vlog. Um, I've done very little reading this week, so I'm very sorry that this has been so shit. <laughs> also, like, what what is this? Um, but last night I read a little bit. I'm officially at the halfway point of Jade City. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, I got some book mail today. Um, I got Nevermore <laughs> by Jessica Townsend. I've been looking to, into getting more into middle grade again. Um, and I've heard really good things about this one. So I really hate that they have like the fake sticker on here. Like, do I, do I need $4.99 plastered on the cover of my book? A great deal, but still. We're gonna put this on the shelf, I think. Um, I don't know where we're gonna put it. This is my like middle grade shelf. It's pretty full, but I think we're just gonna pop it on the end there. Yay, I'm so excited to read this. I've heard so many good things. I'd never heard of this book before, booktube, but um, a lot of people have like recommended it. Um, let me just pop that there. Um, yeah, a lot of people have recommended it, so I am excited. Yeah, I'm still like shocked it was like $5. Like that's such a good deal. Um, but I'm very excited because it is a series and if I like it, I can continue on in the series. Um, I am filming again today. Um, I am filming my catfishing video, so stay tuned. Good morning, my friends. And today is Saturday. And so I, this is going to be my wrap up of the week. I'm sorry I didn't check in yesterday. Um, Honestly, I barely read anything. Oh my gosh. Sorry. My cat is just like trying to get attention right now. Hi. Hi. Why are you like this? Say hi. Anyway, <laughs> um, I barely read yesterday. I think I read like one chapter last night before I went to bed. Um, I'm officially at the halfway point for Jade City and oh my god something just happened and I I can't handle it. I, I, I need to read today. <laughs> um, I'm going to yeah I'm gonna read all day today I think. Um, do nothing. Um, I bought another ebook this morning um, but uh, so, <laughs> so expect to see a haul pretty soon even though I just did one. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my week. Um, to kind of sum up what I have read, honestly, it's been a pretty bad <laughs> reading week. I've probably read about 20 pages. What was it like 20 pages of Obelisk Gate? Um, I mean, 
I made a pretty good dent in Jade City, I feel like. Obviously, I didn't finish it or anything, but hopefully I'll do that today or tomorrow, like over this weekend. Um, I did finish You Should See Me in a Crown, which I loved, loved, loved. I think everyone should read it. It's so cute. Ugh, it's so cute. Um, I listened to the audiobook and I really recommend that. Um, but... What else? What else? What else? What else have I read? Um, I started The Black Flamingo. So I've started a lot of things. I haven't finished a lot of things. Um, but yeah, it's not been the best reading week. I'm hoping next week goes better um, because after that I start work. So I'll probably have less, even less time to read though, to be fair. I mostly read before bed anyway. So um, yeah, so so we'll see. Um, hopefully this reading vlog wasn't totally trash. If it is, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you thought of this reading vlog. It's obviously my first one. If you have any like tips and tricks or like constructive criticism, please do let me know. I know I'm, I'm not very good at filming like b-roll or anything like that. So um, yeah, let me know. Um, and let me know if actually also if you feel like the audio or video quality um, isn't great because filming this on my phone um, rather than my camera like I usually do. So um, yeah, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.